The day before, King Charles granted his younger brother, Prince Edward, formerly Earl of Wessex, the title Duke of Edinburgh. The event was timed to coincide with the prince's birthday, his 59th birthday, which he celebrated on March 10. Prince Edward's wife, accordingly, received the title of Duchess of Edinburgh and, as her friends assure her, felt more relieved at the thought of no longer having to curtsy to Meghan Markle. The media claimed that the relationship between the two royal ladies had become strained even before Harry and Meghan's wedding. Sophie, then Countess of Wessex, on behalf of Queen Elizabeth, offered to help Meghan. She was to mentor the bride and then Prince Harry's wife and help her navigate the intricacies of royal life, but Meghan declined her help. In his recent book Elizabeth. A personal portrait, Giles Brandreth, a writer and close friend of the royal family, confirmed this information. He writes that Meghan has made it clear that she doesn't need Sophie's help and will rely on Prince Harry instead. After Meghan married Harry as Duchess, she stood higher in rank than Sophie, Countess of Wessex, accordingly Sophie was obliged to greet her with a curtsy when meeting her dot a friend of the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh said. Sophie is relieved. She no longer needs to curtsy to someone in the family who has not only abandoned royal duties but has spent the last three years criticizing the institution Sophie so diligently supports. It should be noted that if Sophie were to meet Meghan when she is with her husband, Prince Harry, in which case she would still greet the couple with a curtsy, since Harry stands higher in the line of succession than Prince Edward, Sophie's husband.